Hi there everybody, so in this video I have this uh, VW Golf um, 2007 this is uh, the 1.9 TDI and um, I'm gonna be changing the condenser the condenser is just sitting in the front of the car so I'm gonna have to remove a few panels here I think including the uh, the bumper so the reason I'm changing the AC condenser is because uh, the aircon is not working um, I had it checked by the specialists and it's apparently leaking from the condenser um, the condenser sometimes can leak and then obviously all your gas runs out um, that's why I'm changing it, just make sure um, make sure there's no gas in your system if you're gonna attempt changing the condenser or any other part of the AC it's harmful and it can damage the atmosphere obviously if you just um, release the gas also it's dangerous and you can suffer frostbite or anything like that and uh, you want to avoid avoid any accidents so um, that's why I'm changing it and now we're gonna start so before I start I'm going to disconnect the negative side of the battery because um, we're going to be disconnecting a few sensors so just disconnect, disconnect that side and uh, we should be okay and um, I've already removed a few things uh, or loosened some nuts and bolts uh, actually mainly screws um, a Torx screw from here and there's another one there two of them Torx and they are a T25 um, you, you only have to press these little clips are holding this in there so if you press the clip this will come out another one here and then you can sort of pull this out and put it to one side then we have um, another screw here this one which I already loosened again T25 and there is another one here this is uh, for the bumper and that is like a, more like a plastic type of screw um, but it's not actually it's a metal one and that is uh, T30 so it's a little bit bigger than that remove those two and then the two on the other side as well so then we have This one's here, this Torx screws. Again, that's a T25. And these other two are T30s. And uh, it will be the same for the other side those three there I've already loosened those and then um, behind this um, behind this cover here there is a uh, the release cable for for the bonnet which basically just unplugs it's just plugged in so just pull it out and then you can take this little cover out or just pull it up like like so it's just clipped on and then we can release that just take that out of there and then that will be on one side and then <clears throat> the cable is connected to the mechanism but then we don't have to worry about that
then I'm going to take this little cover out. Again, I already loosened it. You just need to open this clip and these two clips. Just pull them with your finger and this comes out. And uh, we also want to remove this, the bit inside, this bit here. Um, and that's just to allow us to... I mean, we may not have to remove it as, as such, but we just need to separate this from this for when we um, take this out. There are <clears throat> two plastic clips on the sides. If you push them in from outside, so if you go from outside, just press on that and that, and this will pop out. And that gives us a little bit of extra room. Um, now we need to concentrate a little bit on uh, trying to get the this bumper off. So we need to disconnect some um, torque screws from the sides around the wheel arch and underneath. So I'm just gonna get the car up. So just looking at, at the car from underneath, um, we have a few Torx screws around. There's one there. And then we have another, another one there. Well, there's two really, there's just one here and one there. There will be another one there. And the same, the same lot that we have on this side will be on the other side. So I've already removed the ones on that side. So I'm just gonna take this few out here. And also there will be the ones we need to remove from here will be one here. Just can't see at the minute, but it's there. And this one and this one. And then there's another one there. And these are all um, T25s. I've already loosened these four here. So the other side will have the same. And I've already removed those. Um, so it's just a matter of taking them out. No rocket science. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those and I come back to it. So once you got all of those out and on the other side, then we just have to get these ones out. And with all of those screws removed, we should be able to um, release that bumper. So I'm going to lower the car again and then we can take that bumper off. Okay, so got the car down now and now I'm going to remove the bumper. We've loosened all the screws, but um, there's a couple of clips that hold the bumper in place. If we just uh, can have a look in here. may need a light but in there there is a clip iron that one there which we need to sort of just need to disconnect it or push it down and uh, that will release the bumper so it's two of them That's the other one there. So just push it down and that will release the bumper. And so we can take this bumper off. Also take this out. It's just a 
holding in there with these bits here. Just push them up a bit and this will come out. And uh, slowly, slowly we're having access to the condenser. We want to get this part out so we can have access to that condenser. We need to remove also this frame here. Okay, so we need to remove the headlights. Um, there's there's another uh, screw holding the headlight in here. It's just under here, another T25. But before we can take the headlight out, we need to take another T25s that are on this plastic mount here. Those are just T25s. So the only bad side to this condenser is we just need to remove about a million screws. So it's not really uh, that much fun because I'm going to forget about where do they go. So I'm going to leave these two screws in there. Um, and the same for the other headlight. You could just leave the screws in where they are. So try to minimize on remembering. And there's the other one. That's the other T25. And now this uh, headlight, we need to disconnect the wiring. And that will come out. Um, it's just a matter of pressing the little, the little clip on the uh, connection and pulling that out. So everything that I'm doing on this side, um, the same procedure will apply to the other side. Um, the only extra thing is that on the headlight, on that other headlight, there is an extra plug. But again, you just have to press, open the little clip, and take this out. Okay, so actually, the extra plug that I've undone from the other side is just the plug that it's for the the bonnet release sensor. So it's this one here, and that is just plugged in in the back here. Okay, now, now we want to remove this uh, metal frame as well, and for that we need to undo some. I'm gonna count this way. So we need to undo this. These are 16 mil, I think, and that torques. There's uh, two of those here, Torx screws. I think they are T30s. Also the long screw for the headlight. Um, I'm just gonna try and keep it in the hole there.
plastic this cover here is also attached to this frame so for us to remove this frame um, we need to detach this and again there's a uh, three torques holding this there's just one underneath one there and the other one does just here We also want to disconnect this sensor. Okay, so I've already undone this. You can see that's loose. I need to do the same on the other side. So, all of this is a bit of a, a memory game, so um, I would suggest if you're going to do it, do it in the same day, to avoid um, any issues of forgetting where things go. So I'm going to take this off now. Like I said, that's a 16 mil. It's four of those, and obviously four on the other side. So before we can remove this, we have these two T30s as well. Okay, so now we definitely have uh, more access here. This is our condenser here. Um, just be careful with this um, whole assembly here, because the radiator is also attached to it. So we don't want it to come forwards on us. Um, we basically want to separate the section okay so we need to undo two um, two torques that are holding the assemble of the radiator and the condenser to this part and there's one here and one on the other side T30s um, that should separate this part but the, the assembly of the radiator, it's, it's on this. Uh, so we need to lift the radiator and remove this. But um, we need to try and hold the radiator in place so we don't damage the hoses. Um, so what I've done is um, I secured with a couple of tie bands here. This one and this one goes up to this hole it's holding the radiator here and a sort of similar arrangement on the other side just using the tie band 
on here, a part of the radiator, and going up to the frame, to the wing. So that should hopefully allow me to lift the radiator up from the from the mounts, which is on this on this thing, and then uh, and pull this out. So it's already quite loose, and we can try to get it out. So that cable needed to be disconnected as well. <laughs> Not disconnected, just uh, removed from the guide there. Okay. That's where our condenser is. Um, again, a couple of some screws, Torx, holding the condenser to the radiator here. So we have um, four of them. Just before I lose the whole thing, um, might be a good idea to disconnect the connection here. That's the connection of the of the pipes. So we have the connections here, and there's two uh, big screws. Um, they are T45s. But we need to access from behind. Um, so I just removed, I moved this um, tank to one side. It's got three um, 10 mil, two 10 mil nuts and one one bolt that hold it in place. So there'll be one in there, and two in there, and one there. And I just moved that to one side so I can access. I can access the bolts here. That's one there, and the other one is just back there. Um, when you undo these, they'll be a little bit hard. You might feel that the whole pipes here are bending, which they are bending. Um, so I just uh, use a screwdriver and wedge it against there avoid just to hold it a little bit in, in place like so hold the screwdriver there and then you can turn those nuts um, so the other w access to these two would be from underneath so you could potentially remove the under tray and then access those from there. I just thought it might be a little bit easier from this end at this moment in time. I also just unplugged the, the horn here momentarily so I can move the box up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and release those. So funny enough, that didn't seem the one further in wasn't as tight or difficult to remove. This one was a little bit more, but maybe that's because uh, there's a hole in here and then stuff going in there, water and stuff like that. Um, 
now we can try and separate these pipes. Hard, but sometimes they do get really stuck. Okay, so with all of with those two loosened, we can um, perhaps remove these uh, torques. We can remove those uh, torques, and then hopefully this condenser will just come out. There is just one extra screw there holding this onto the side. Yes. Okay, so this is the part that I'm uh, fitting. Um, it's the Malay one, and that's the part number. This is the one that I'm using, but you need to check with your supplier or whoever you buy it from that the parts uh, match. For fitting, um, so fitting this is a reversal of removal. We have a million of million screws to put back in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start refitting. Um, probably won't be doing any talking, so we can have a faster process. So that's uh, that's the part. You just need to remove that, and there might be a bit of um, air that comes out of that. There's usually they're a little bit pressurized, so not nothing to worry about. So um, I've run out of uh, battery on my camera, but um, just finished putting everything back together, including reconnecting the battery, and. Um, now it's just a matter of getting the car regassed um, for the AC to be working again. So, well, refitting everything back was just a reversal of removal. Um, just a lot of screws to remember. Um, but that's pretty much it. So, I hope this video helps, and uh, thank you for watching.